Hello and welcome to the Electrician's Hangout. Uh, today's tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to install a switch. Uh, there are many, many, many different types of switches out there and uh, before we go forward, I'll give a little bit of information and technical detail about switches there. Uh, the type of switch we're going to install today is called a single pole switch. A uh, single pole switch is uh, what we refer to in the electrical trade as a single pole, single throw switch. And all that means is that you have one, one pole for electricity, one ungrounded conductor, and the switch pretty much gets uh, through one way. That's open and closed, and that's, that's a single pole, single throw switch. Like I said, there are many, many, many different types of switches you have. Uh, single pole switches, three-way switches, four-way switches, dimmer switches, automatic transfer switches, which is something you would use, say, uh, if you had a standby generator tied into your electrical system. But uh, I guess the, the easiest thing to do would be to get into those types of switches as we do a tutorial on that type of switch. So today we'll keep it specific to the single pole, single throw switch, or uh, just a regular switch on and off. Uh, before we hook the switch up, I guess it would probably be easy if I showed you guys a, a small diagram of, of how switches are, the, or the single pole switch in itself is actually hooked up. So let's take a look at that. Okay, what we have here is just a basic drawing of a single pole switch uh, connected to a light similar to what we're going to do if you look at these two wires here these symbolize the uh, 110 volt source that we have coming into our switch box the white wire goes straight through and, and gets connected to one side of the light whereas the black wire goes through the switch the single pole switch and this is the wire that we will be opening and closing when we turn the switch on and off uh, when the switch is opened the, the voltage that comes through this black wire is unable to make it to the light because the, the circuit is opened however when you close this switch the electricity or the voltage in this particular wire is able to travel through this conductor through the switch and onto the light and the light comes on and that's pretty much how uh, the switch works it works by opening and closing uh, one of the circuit conductors uh, normally the ungrounded conductor so now that we we have a small idea of what what our circuit is going to look like we can go back over to our, our board there and, and get to it. Okay, now that we've seen what a single pole switch looks like uh, on paper and, and how it's actually drew out, now we're going to see how it works out in, in real life. So first let me explain to you uh, what we actually have here. Uh, when you go to an, install your, your switch in your light at home, chances are you're going to probably tap off an existing outlet or you may run a circuit directly from your circuit breaker panel. Either way, the results are the same. Uh, in this particular case, what we've done is we've come out of our circuit breaker panel and we've run a wire and installed an outlet. We extend it from that outlet, as you can see here. Uh, if you go back to my tutorial part two, I believe it may be on installing an outlet, uh, we Pretty much, I showed, showed you guys how to make a pigtail and why it's best to use a pigtail when extending from an existing outlet and adding another device. But we uh, extended this outlet and brought the wire over to this box here. Uh, so this wire coming through the bottom comes from the existing outlet, which is going to be our 110 volt source. And the wire that's coming out of the top of this box is going up to our light box here, which is where our light is going to go. So, <clears throat> uh, 
with a single pole switch, if you think back to the drawing that you looked at, uh, basically you just have a switch and one wire that, that opens and closes the circuit. Obviously, you know, uh, we don't live in a vacuum and a regular AC circuit is not a one line diagram. You have two wires. Keeping that in mind, with the way that this is wired, with the 110 volts coming to the box where the switch is going to live, the only thing we need to do is splice our whites together, which is our grounded conductor there. So we're going to do that real quick. We're going to splice this guy together. And I'm not going to do a really fancy, super neat job because you only get so much time on these videos and I'm doing my best to try to get these videos to be a little bit shorter. So I'm going to do my best to keep it short and sweet. Uh, we're going to put a wire nut on that guy. Okay, now there is one thing I got to do, and I'll be right back. I got to get me a piece of bare ground wire there, so give me one second, I'll be right back. All right, guys, sorry about that delay there. I thought I anticipated everything, but obviously I didn't. Uh, need a pigtail for my ground there, which is this guy here, and we just uh, tie these guys together like so. And got that guy in there, and we're gonna put a wire nut on him, like so. And gonna make our loop on this guy for our switch, like so. And we have our switch. And if you think back to some of the earlier videos, I told you guys that when you make your loop and you're putting your wire on your switch, you want to turn the, the open part of the loop uh, clockwise so that when you turn when you turn your screw, it tightens the wire up around it. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'll make a loop with the ground wire here. Like so. Get that guy on there. Like so. And get them nice and tight. And that's pretty much hooking up the switch. One thing I like to add, when you do actually put your switch in the box, you want to make sure that when the switch is in the down position it says off and when it's in the up position it says on. I mean if you flip it around then you'll have it saying no and foo. We don't want it to say no and foo, we want it to say on and off. So okay, we got that part done. The only thing left to do is to uh, actually hook up the light. And you guys are going to really be angry with me because I forgot to bring a light bulb downstairs with me. <laughs> That's not a problem. Uh, we will take care of that. And it's the same thing when you put your... And if you look on your light, just like on the outlet, you have a silver screw and a bronze screw. The silver screw is for the white wire or the grounded conductor, and the bronze screw or the, the, the uh, darker colored screw here is for the black wire or, or your ungrounded conductor, your hot wire there. And uh, we will tie that guy in.
in. You pretty much stuff the ground because we're using a plastic box. There's no need to ground this setup. The the uh, keyless light fixture itself is plastic and so is the box. So there's no need for ground. So your ground gets stuck in the box there. And like so. So I'm going to pause for a second and get a light bulb and come right back. And we'll turn the brake on and see this guy work. Okay, now, uh, sorry about that. I had to... I didn't think think everything through there, but now we've got the light bulb in and we have our switch and we've turned the brake on and turn the switch and that's pretty much it. That's the single pole switch. And as I said, it's just it works from one location and it's just on and off. And that's pretty much that. Uh sorry about all the mix-ups there. Uh the next video I will definitely make sure that I have everything I need in front of me so that we don't have to keep going backwards and forwards like I truly apologize. But um, thanks for joining me and the next video tutorial will we'll probably do a three-way switch. So thanks for joining me and look forward to seeing you guys the next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.